Welcome to Sisterly Sunday's podcast, where faith, motivation, and sisterly love intertwine to empower women on their spiritual journey. Join us each week as we delve into heartfelt conversations and share inspirational stories that uplift and guide you through the challenges of life. I'm your host, Dr. Shaniqua Johnson, a.k.a. Shaniqua Inspires. Welcome to Sisterly Sunday's podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Shaniqua Johnson, a.k.a. Shaniqua Inspires, bringing you your dose of motivation and encouragement to get you through the week. Today's podcast is presented by Stronger Through Faith Media, helping you get your message to millions. Let's get into this week's message entitled, Called to be Different. Jesus Christ was persecuted because he was different. His messages and methods were not like that of the traditional culture of the religious community. And because he was different, some people refused to accept him. What have you been shut out of because you were different? But here's my real question. Why is being different a bad thing? The definition of the word different means not the same as another. Distinct. Nowhere does it say that it's a bad thing. The word distinct goes on to mean recognizably different from something else of a similar type. But again, there's no mention that this is a bad thing or it carries a negative undertone. In fact, from the meanings that I've read and I study, I feel encouraged to be different because who doesn't want to be recognizable? My desire is to stand out in my uniqueness rather than blend in with the crowd. Jesus Christ was okay being different. Although he was persecuted for such, he understood the assignment. It was necessary to get us groomed in the likeness of our heavenly father. But somewhere down the line, we began to view being different as a punishment rather than the promise. The Bible reminds us that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. In the New Living Translation, it reads, thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Psalms 139 verse 14 teaches us to celebrate our complex creation rather than moaning and groaning about being different. I want to be like so-and-so. I want to be like Mike. I want to be like this. Why? Embrace your difference. We despise being different because we fear being ostracized, called out condemned, prosecuted, persecuted, or punished like Jesus Christ. But you wanna know something? For all of the tales of the people who punished Jesus because of his differences, there were hundreds and thousands more who flocked to get a glimpse of him. There are millions of us who rely on his differences to do what others can't do. <laughs> I bet you the woman with the issue of blood rejoiced at his differences. All the money she spent, all the time she endured going back and forth to the same type of people. She finally realized, my God that if she could just get in the room, mm, if she could just get at the feet, if she could just touch the hem of his robe that he was wearing, she would finally find the healing she had sought after 
for 12 long years. In fact, it was her mindset shift that made her well. Not a magical garment of clothing. Jesus himself admits that it was her faith that instantaneously made her well. Sometimes the changing of your mind can move those mountains. After 12 long years, she finally decided to think differently. And it changed her life. She was now free from the struggle because she finally came into agreement with her divine calling. The call to be different. You, my friends, are called to be different. One of the parables that I enjoy in the Bible comes from Matthew chapter 25 and talks about the talents. The master is going away for an extended trip and he entrusts each of his servants with talents or money, depending on which translation you're reading from. But he he assigns these talents according to their ability. Now, here's what makes us different. We all come from the same father, but we possess different abilities. Our abilities can be measured based off of our faith, our relationship, our connection, or even our time spent with the father. One servant received five talents based off of his displayed abilities. One servant received two. The other received one. Now, there's nothing recorded that says the one who received one talent sat around despising the one who received five. Because it was understood that the master gives according to your ability. So there was no need for the hateration because it was an understood rule that the master gave according to your ability or how I like to describe it is based off of your capacity. If I spend time daily with the master watching and carefully listening to him, seeking his guidance and wisdom with each step, I am enhancing my capacity. I'm learning how to operate like him because I've studied and devoted more time to his ways. I believe we are all granted the same opportunity to receive these abilities, but we have different capacity to accept it. There's no need to be mad at someone because they receive more when they diligently spent the time at the spiritual gym to enhance their capacity. People are really out here hating on you because of your capacity when they are not willing to put in the work like you do. They hate that people love on you when you spent time cultivating all of your lovable traits. Maybe she's born with it, they say. But nowadays you can buy it if you're willing to pay the cost. The price may cost you some things. It may cost you some time. It may cost you more effort. It may even cost you more energy. It may cost you your old habits, your old ways, that old wine skin. But, you, but you're not willing to give that up. You are totally comfortable with putting new wine into old wine skin. But as the smarter of the bunch knows, that's not going to work. Not that you can't do it, because baby, you can do whatever you want to do. 
but you will eventually taint the new trying to force it into the old because you're scared to be different. Sure, nobody wants to be persecuted. You think Jesus wanted to be persecuted? If he really had a choice, you think he would have chosen that fate? He briefly wanted to turn back, but he understood that he was born to be different. Even at the cost of his life here on earth, he was willing to put it down because he knew no one could take it from him because he was operating differently. Jesus Christ operated on a level we will never achieve. He set the bar super high to show us the endless possibilities. So why are you scared? I am willing to walk in my different. I don't know about you all, but I'm willing to walk in my different. If it means that I get to walk closer with him. I am willing to be different. If it means I get closer to the bar. I am willing to be different. If it means I will reap more. If it means I get a higher return on my investments. If I gain more capacity. I am willing to walk in my different. If it means I get to walk closer with him. I am willing to be different. If it means I get closer to the bar that Jesus has set. I am willing to be different. If it means I will reap more. If it means that I will get a higher return on my investments, if it means that I gain more capacity, if it means that I get more ability, even if it means I get trusted with more talent. Are you willing to risk it all and function at your calling to be different so that you can celebrate with the Father? So that you can hear the master say, well done, my good and faithful servant. You are called to be different. Will you answer the call? Be blessed. Are you loving this week's segment of Sisterly Sunday's podcast? If so, subscribe and share this message with those who could use a little encouragement to get them through the week. Connect with me on all social media platforms at Shaniqua Inspires. The encouragement continues every Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my podcast, The Black Girl Encourage Her. You know, the place where we are delivering the encouragement for everyone. We just so happen to do it from a Black girl's perspective. You can catch those episodes on my YouTube channel, Shaniqua Inspires. And don't forget to subscribe and share.